My name is Konstantin Gilcic. I'm an industrial designer. My studio is in Munich and uh, we're here in Barbasso in Milan for the 2013 Furniture Fair. My collaboration with Emiko started with the Parish Art Museum project, a museum designed by Herzog and de Maron, and they involved me in the project to be responsible for anything that was the furniture scope of the museum. The chair was part of the furniture that we designed for the museum, but unlike the other things that were more purpose-built, a chair is a much more universal product that I felt we needed a company to support the development of the project. Emico stands for chairs in aluminium and aluminium was the perfect material for the chair that we had in mind because the museum in this part of the States, Long Island, is very open and aluminium was a, a kind of a, a, good, uh, a, a good material for us to use. Everything is mechanically joined to a, a central core, a piece of die-cast aluminium, which is really the heart of the chair. It sits underneath the seat and four tubular legs just join into that core and the armrest backrest. So we have one molded piece that kind of solves all the structure of the chair and the seat can be exchangeable. We can have a upholstered seat, plastic seat, wooden seat. But we've designed a small system if you want which enables us to make two different chairs, a, a high kind of normal cafe chair version and a low, more reclined lounge chair around the same joint. Emiko are most famous for the navy chair, which is a very handcrafted chair, even though it's been produced in, in huge quantity. For me, it, it felt like when you know, doing a new chair for Emiko, we shouldn't actually... I felt we should actually change the way they make chairs. We should industrialize it, simplify it, um, eliminate all the all the dirty, all the dirty work, all the um, the kind of the hand labor, and uh, that's what really um, kind of uh, informed the, the the concept of the chair. So involving Emiko into this real shift in in their way of producing a chair, and uh, of course the they they will always produce the navy chair in the way they produce it, but I think now we've, we've just um, established another form of production inside their company.